Welcome to the highly anticipated Oscars 2024, where the spotlight shines on cinematic brilliance. This year's top 10 best film nominees boast a diverse array of storytelling, showcasing the industry's finest talent and innovation. From gripping dramas to enchanting fantasies, these films have left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, vying for the coveted honour of being recognised as the best in the business. Join us as we embark on a journey through the captivating narratives and exceptional performances that have defined the cinematic landscape of the past year. But before watching the top 10 2024 Best Picture Oscar nominees, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos like this. So let's start our video with the 10th 2024 Best Picture Oscar nominee, The Holdovers. Reuniting for the first time since Sideways nearly 20 years ago, the director Alexander Payne and his lovably cantankerous star, Paul Giamatti, have made a film about the relationship between three people left to themselves over Christmas in 1970. Giamatti stars as the least liked teacher at an elite New England boarding school, assigned to babysit the small handful of students whose parents didn't pick them up for the break. After a good deal of friction, he starts to forge a warmer relationship with one troubled student, Dominic Sessa, and the school's head cook, Darvine Joy Randolph, who's facing her first Christmas since losing her son in Vietnam. And the ninth Best Picture Oscar nominee is American Fiction. This comedy drama, written and directed by Cord Jefferson, is his directorial debut for a feature film. The film follows a frustrated professor who writes a stereotypical novel as satire, only for a book to do well in the market. The film has been described as a cagey, cerebral dramedy that confronts our culture's obsession with reducing people to outrageous stereotypes. It has also been commended for its sensitive and important declaration about where black art meets black life. And the eighth Best Picture Oscar nominee is Barbie. Perhaps Barbie was destined to become the year's biggest box office phenomenon, but Greta Gerwig had to thread a very thin needle in creating a pop entertainment of buoyancy and substance. While playing off the fizzy appeal of the fashionable plastic doll that has lined toy shelves for over half a century, Gerwig seizes the opportunity to reflect on the distance between Barbie's vision of womanhood and the troubling messiness of reality. As Gerwig's bruised idealist, Margot Robbie's Barbie keeps the tone light as she journeys from the matriarchal paradise of Barbie land to the real world, which isn't the utopia she might have imagined. And the seventh Best Picture Oscar nominee is Killers of the Flower Moon. The nativist skirmishes and corruption that have defined so many of Martin Scorsese's gangster and non-gangster dramas surface again in this sprawling epic of American greed and violence based on David Grant's historical non-fiction book. Set in the oil-rich Osage territory of 1920s Oklahoma, Killers of the Flower Moon looks into a murderous conspiracy to wrest claim rights away from the native population. At the film's centre is the toxic love story between an Osage woman, Lily Gladstone, and an impressionable war veteran, Leonardo DiCaprio, whose affection for her is clouded by his relationship to his scheming uncle, Robert De Niro, and a taste for the finer things. And the sixth Oscar nominee is Maestro. In his follow-up to A Star Is Born, the director-actor Bradley Cooper again turns to the emotionally turbulent life of a musician, casting himself as Leonard Bernstein, the famed American conductor and composer who lived a double life in full. Starting in lustrous black and white, Maestro depicts the young Bernstein's intoxicating rise through the New York Philharmonic and his romance with the stage actress Felicia Montealegre, Carrie Mulligan, in the 1940s. The film then shifts to colour in later decades, as Bernstein's sexual dalliances and substance abuse take their toll on a marriage that's under sharp public scrutiny. And the fifth Oscar nominee is Anatomy of a Fall. The winner of the Palme d'Or at last year's Cannes Film Festival, Justine Triette's penetrating drama sounds like a routine did she or didn't she courtroom procedural, as a novelist, Sandra Huller, stands trial for murdering her husband at their Alpine chalet. Yet the courtroom theatrics open up a deeper investigation into a difficult marriage and the toll it exacts on the couple's legally blind son who discovers the body. 
Though the woman's innocence is at stake, Triet is more compelled by the domestic tensions leading up to the death and the fallout from the trial. And the fourth 2024 Best Picture Oscar nominee is Poor Things. This black comedy film directed by Yorgos Lantimos tells the story of Bella Baxter, a young woman from the Victorian era who is resurrected by a scientist following her suicide. The film has been praised for its bizarre visual flair, the performances of the cast, and its joyous celebration of a strange and unique world. The film is described as funny, shocking, thoughtful and progressive, and has been rated as one of the few five-star movies of the year. And the third Best Picture Oscar nominee is Past Lives. In her heart-rending feature debut as a writer-director, the playwright Celine Song offers a what-if romantic scenario that pulls at the identity of a happily married woman in New York, even decades after she and her family moved from South Korea. Once extremely close childhood friends, Nora, Greta Lee, and Hai Sung, Tao Yu, reconnect as adults on social media and meet again in America where they reminisce and inevitably begin to wonder about the path not taken. Comparisons to Richard Linklater's Sunrise trilogy may be inevitable, but the temptation and longing in past lives is uniquely complicated by the cultural crosswinds that affect Nora Hai Sung and Nora's American husband, John Magaro, who waits patiently in the wings. And the second Best Picture Oscar nominee is Oppenheimer. Conjuring the dark wizardry of the Manhattan Project, the director Christopher Nolan turned the Trinity Test into a seat-rumbling summer spectacle, placing it at the centre of Oppenheimer like the nuclear core of 20th century history. But there's a disturbing intimacy to the film as well, with Cillian Murphy's tremulous J. Robert Oppenheimer leading an unstable band of scientists while nearly drowning in uncharted political and ethical waters. In exploring the origins of a technological boogeyman that continues to haunt mankind, Nolan embraces the contradictions of the flawed, brilliant man whose spirit seems to embody it. And the last 2024 Best Picture Oscar nominee is The Zone of Interest. This historical drama film directed by Jonathan Glazer is the story of a German Nazi commandant and his family. He strives to build a life with his wife in their home next to the German Auschwitz concentration camp. Critics have praised the film for its dispassionate examination of the ordinary existence of people complicit in horrific crimes, forcing viewers to take a cold look at the mundanity behind unforgivable brutality. The film has been described as a haunting Holocaust drama that explores themes of marital companionship, wanting the best for one's children, and following rules and working hard. So which movie should won an Oscar for the best picture of 2024 according to you? Tell us in the comments section. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe this channel.